Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another simple how to's Photoshop videos. Today we're going to be taking an image like this and transforming it into something really cool like this, giving her some cat eyes and adjusting her skin tone a bit. This is really fun to do, and you know, it's really not that hard because I'm going to take you step by step on just how to create this effect. Let's get started. Alright, before we get into it, let me show you where I got these images from. If you want to download them and follow along with me, I got them from Pixabay, and I'll put this link in the description. It's a free download, and it says free for commercial use, no attribution required. And I also got this image from Pixabay as well, image of a cat eye, and it's also a free download. So if you want to get those, uh, download them, and follow along with me, that would be great. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this group here so we can start from scratch. And here we have um, the image of our model. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer or we're going to duplicate this layer just like that. And on the top layer we're going to put a layer mask just like that. We're going to fill this layer mask with black. I'm going to our keyboard. We're going to Hold the Alt key down and press the Backspace key. And we're going to fill it with black, just like that. With this um, black layer highlighted, we're going to go to our brush tool. We're going to pick a hard brush. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to, going to uh, just click right on her eye here. I'm going to reduce the size of my brush one time probably, just with uh, my bracket keys. One time is good. And I'm just going to click, and when I click, you can see here on the layer mask, it'll have a little white dot. So I'm going to click. Oop, need to change my foreground color to white by tapping the X key on my keyboard. There we go. Just like that. And click. And you can see a little white dot there. And we're going to do the same to the other eye. And position it correctly. And click. And there we go. We have our two little white dots. Now what we're going to do is we need to clean this up because, as you can see, if I zoom in, um, it went just a little bit on her eyelids. So we're just going to, going to hide this layer, the bottom layer, and you just see these eyes and you can see where um, the eyelid is, right on top. So what we're going to do, with our brush tool still selected, we're going to pick about 80% hardness, the hardness up to about 80%, that's fine, and we're just going to go right around, decrease the size of my brush a little bit using the bracket keys on my keyboard and we're just going to go, oops, uh, we need to change the foreground color again so tap X on your keyboard and we're just going to take some of that out just like that, oh, maybe a little too much on the end there and the same with this one and we're going to clean it up a little bit more um, here in just a little bit but for now, we're just going to get a rough estimate on what we need. All right, so now that we have that done, we're going to bring in our cat eyes. And here we have our cat eyes. And if uh, let me just take you back here just real quick. So here we have the, the picture of our cat eyes. I'm going to grab my elliptical marquee tool. And I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to make a selection around this eye here. Just like that. And I am going to make a copy of this layer. Oops, uh, Control J. And you can see when I do that, it automatically cuts everything out. So now that we have that, we're going to get our move tool. And we're going to click, hold, and drag this up to our model layer. And go somewhere in the middle and release. And it'll put this big old eye on there. We need to resize this by going to control and the letter T on the keyboard. And we want to size this proportionally, so we want to hold our shift key down and grab a corner, left click, hold, and just drag in um, just somewhere kind of, that's fine, for right there. Now what we need to do is we need to get this layer mask and put it on this layer with our cat eye. Before we do that, we're going to go down here to our layer mask um, tool. 
click that, and it'll make a layer mask. So we need to get this layer mask in this space. And the way we do that is we hold our Alt key down while hovering over the this uh, black layer here. Sorry if you hear my cat in the background. It's uh, having a little fit back there, but that's all right. So we're going to hold this and click, drag up, and release. And we can now see that um, the cat eye is now inside the layer mask only. Now we need to unlink these because if we don't, we can't move this independently. It'll move the whole entire mask. So we're just going to unlink those for now. And with our cat eye selected here, we are going to click on Control T so we can move this around. And we're going to see get these little bendy arrows here so we can just turn it around a little bit. And we're going to do some resizing. And I'm going to go up here to this corner, hold the shift key down, and just drag just down just a little bit and move this around. I'm going to nudge it around with the arrow keys on my keyboard until I think it's good. And that looks pretty good to me. So now that we have that, we're going to name this layer um, right, because to us it's right the right eye. And we're going to make a copy of this layer. So we're going to click, hold, and drag it down to this little paper icon, make a copy, and we're going to rename this left for the left eye. Now what we have to do is we're just going to grab this eye here and move it over to the other side. Pretty simple, just like that. I'm using my keyboard to nudge it around a bit, and I'm going to click Control-T just to resize it just a little bit here. I'm holding shift and grabbing a corner, and I'm just bringing it down just to, just a touch. And I'm using my uh, arrow keys again. Now I'm going to reshape this. I'm going to bring this over just a little bit, Control-T, just to move it over. So just move it over until they look uh, pretty symmetrical. I'm going to move this one over as well. Control-T, just shift it over just a little bit, something like that maybe. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to group these two together. And I'm going to hold Shift key down and highlight them both, then Control G to group them. And I'm going to name the group Cat Eyes. And the reason I want to do this is because I'm going to add some adjustment layers and things um, of that nature to this so that it affects the group entirely. Um, instead of having to go and do this individually. So now I can just go ahead and put an adjustment layer to affect the entire group. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this eye color with an adjustment layer, hue and saturation. And once we have this uh, hue and saturation, if I move, uh, say I move this slider around, it's going to affect the whole image, and we don't want that. We want this um, just to affect um, the eyes here. And we can see that it's in the group. So we're going to move it right out of the group. And then once we move it out of the group, we are going to hold the Alt key down until you see this little bendy arrow. And when you see that little bendy arrow, left click one time. And what that's going to do is it's going to um, clip this layer just to um, the cat eye group. And now if we move the slider, we can see that it's just affecting the eyes. So we'll move the slider around to see something we like here. And we're going to move the saturation up to brighten it up kind of a lot. And that looks pretty good right there. And we can always go back and uh, adjust these um, later. But for now, that thing that looks pretty good. Next, we're going to uh, do a little uh, dodging and burning. And the way we do that is we'll create a new layer here. And we need to, again, we need to clip this layer. So hold the Alt key down until you see that bendy arrow. And left click one time. Creates a clipping mask. Now we're going to, on the keyboard again, hold the Shift key down while um, tapping on the Backspace key. And we're going to use 50% gray. And click OK. We're going to change the blending mode from normal to overlay. And now, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Oops. We're going to zoom in just a little bit. And we're just going to uh, uh, brighten this up a little. So we're going to go over here to our Dodge tool. And we want to uh, target the midtones, first of all. 
with the exposure of about uh, 20%. And just have our brush size, that's, that's good. And we're just going to go over each eye here with the midtones, and then we're going to do the highlights. Then we're going to switch from midtones to highlights. We're going to keep the exposure at 20. And it's just going to brighten it up just a little bit here. Just like that. Next, we're going to go over and we're going to click on our burn tool. Now, with the burn tool, we're going to mess with, we're going to target the midtones. Exposure about 20% is fine. And we're just going to go over the dark areas. And just keep going over these dark areas until you're satisfied. I'm also going to go around on these dark parts as well. And it's just going to darken all these spots up and it's going to make it look really nice. Just like that. Okay, so now, now that we've uh, burned it a little bit, we're going to add um, some shadow to it. And we're just we're going to do this for each of the eyes, left and right. But we're only going to target the left eye first. And then we're going to apply the, the filter um, to the right eye. And let me show you. So we have a layer, layer style up. And we're going to click on Inner Shadow. When you click on Inner Shadow, we're going to uncheck Global Light. And I'm going to increase the distance just so we can see. You can see that here. Um, and then I'm going to go up to the angle, and I'm going to click on it. And with my mouse wheel, I'm going to um, scroll down. And you can see how the angle of the shadow is turning. And I want this, because we have the eyelid here, it's going to create a small shadow underneath, just to give it some realism. And now that I have the shadow pretty much where I want it, let's see here. I want it about right there. 88 is pretty good. Now I can go to the distance, and I can decrease that to about 6%. And the size, let's see, 5. 5 is okay. So we're going to click OK. Um, actually, before we do that, we're going to do the Inner, inner glow, and we're going to change the color to black. Click OK, and the blend mode we're going to change to normal. And you're going to see how that makes this stand out a lot more. We're going to change the size to maybe around 2, and click OK. Now you see we have this FX here. We're going to apply the same um, layer style to uh, the right eye. And the way we do that is we hold Alt down on our keyboard and click on FX and bring it down and release. And you can see that it added the same effect to the other eye. And so that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to where that we did the 50% gray and we're going to add um, some curves on this. Just to uh, to make it a little a little deeper, create a little depth, and we're going to go to our adjustment layer here, and go to our curves, and I want to make a nice S curve. So the way we do that is, right here in the middle, we're just going to click on it. It's going to make a point. And we're just going to bring this bottom one down. And you can see as I bring the bottom down, the top follows it. So we're going to make it a nice little S curve here. You don't need to bring. Uh, you don't need a lot. Just bring it down just a touch, and that looks pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, change the skin tone a little bit by going with to our adjustment layers again, and we're going to go to black and white, just like that. Now we can see that it's changed everything, but I want um, the eyes to really stand out here, so we're going to grab this layer mask and we're going to replace it with this layer mask just the way we did before by holding our um, clicking on this layer mask here holding the alt key down left clicking and dragging up to the other layer and we can see that it now clipped it to our black and white layer <clears throat> well the problem we have now is that our eyes are black and white and everything else is in color but we want to reverse that and the way we do that is with the black and white layer selected, we're going to hold Control key down on our keyboard and tap the letter I. 
and we can see that inversed our selection. So now um, our eyes are in color and everything else is black and white. But I do want to add a little bit of color to everything. So we're gonna add, we're gonna click on this little icon here in our black and white layer, and we're almost done. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of color here. Actually, before we do that, let's change the blend mode from normal to darken, and that brightened it up. That added some color to it. But you can see it's still a little desaturated. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more color to this, a little more red. And so I'm gonna click on this uh, little icon here. And I'm going to move this slider up um, to about where I feel that it's uh, 65. That's good. We're going to leave it at 65. And if we want, you can always go back and add some more curves to it. But, you know, we're actually pretty much done. I'm going to group these layers together. You don't have to do this, just so I can show you the difference. Well, I hope this video has helped you. Please like this video. Please subscribe and comment if you like. If you want to see other Photoshop videos, please visit our website at simplehowtos.com or here on our YouTube channel. And please, like us on Facebook. Hey, thanks for watching.